So today's the day. This is the big one. Uh, the folks are going to be here anytime. We've got a large group of people coming in. Uh, we've been talking about this car, working on this car for eight years. That's almost a decade. Uh, it was the car nobody thought could be done. We did it. I don't know about you, but I got a little bit of butterfly, and I put out some high-dollar cars. And oh, some, yeah. But I'm, you know, you're always nervous. Anything can go wrong. My name is Tim Rowderbush. I'm from Reedsville, North Carolina, and I am in Springfield, Oregon, because I am the proud owner of the Phantom Cuda. We all get caught up in thinking this is about us, and, and it isn't. It's about the car and the, the lives of the peoples that it has affected in the past and in the future. So I want to thank you all. If you're ready to see the most talked about 71 Cuda in the history of automotive brilliance, not me. It's not yeah. all about me. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I'm really excited. I want to see that cover come off. I want to see the looks on the customer's faces. In five, four, three, two, one, 71 Cuda, let's go. There you go. Great reaction for the car. Yeah, we got a lot of applause. Uh, they crawled all over the car after we had the the cover off, and all I just kept hearing was how beautiful wow. it was. Pictures next to it, lots of selfies. Look any better outside? I can't wait. It uh, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Love, baby, love. Love, love. 385 horsepower. 108 of them built. You got one of these, camera boy? <laughs> uh, this ain't no Nissan Center, is it? <laughs> yeah, that shifter felt great. Test drive went beautifully. Shaker hood shook. Four speed pistol grip was fantastic. Plenty of power, um, handled well, drove well, could be more happy. Did I ever think I'd be driving a 71 Cuda? No, not at all. Um, being here, talking to you, uh, I never thought I'd be doing that either, but um, Dreams come true, I guess. They're not the greatest running, driving, handling car in the world, but they are a lot of fun. And when you step on it, you watch that shaker come up and then the car comes up and everything's starting to head towards the sky. I mean, that's that's a cool feeling. Even today's stuff, even my Scat Pack car or a Hellcat, you don't get that lift out of the front end. And I think it's that lift and that brute torque when you come off the line that the guys like myself, my age, that grew up with it, really appreciate that. Our 71 Cuda has been with us a long time. So when you get to this milestone where it's actually officially done, uh, it's a little bittersweet. I mean, I've been dragging that car around for a better part of a decade and uh, fighting a lot of urban legends and rumors that it was gonna be this and it's gonna be that and it couldn't be saved. To be where we're at, I would have to say it's an accomplishment that uh, I don't take lightly. That was a difficult car. And, it, and honestly, without the support of everybody that was involved in that build, I don't think we could have done it.